Hello everyone. Welcome to Harris BI. In this video, I'm going to show you the trade option which we have in Power BI REST API documents. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button to get the latest updates on Power BI. If you are new to Power BI REST APIs, we have a dedicated document which will list out all the REST APIs which are supported for Power BI. Using this REST API, you can access any information from Power BI tenant. You can search for Power BI REST APIs in Google. You will be landing into this page using the Power BI REST APIs. In the left hand side, you can see there are different groups or category. Each will have the set of REST API comments. You can go to any one of these. Let's say I'm going to groups. Groups are nothing but workspaces. You can see a REST API called get groups. Using this get groups, you can list out all the workspaces which you have in your Power BI tenant. So this will give the detailed document. And you can see this is the URL, the REST API URL, and this is the method, REST API method, which is get method. For each of these, you have the try it option. So when you click try it, you can easily access this REST API within the browser. And with that, you can get all the information about your workspaces. Let's take a scenario. Let's say you want to build your automated solution using these Power BI REST APIs. You have to follow these steps like you have to register an app in Azure Active Directory. For the tab, you have to provide Power BI access. And in case if you want to go with service principle, you have to add uh, that uh, app into the security group and you need to place that security group in the Power BI admin place. Let me show you how you can easily test or maybe do the development with the help of try it. If you click try it, you have to sign in with your Power BI credentials. Once you have signed in, you will see a window like this. So this window is signed in with your credential. And this is the get URL, which you have seen in this document. And these are the some of the parameters and headers. So some of the REST APIs, you need to pass the parameter, header, even the body. But some of them like get method, you no need to pass anything. So this is just to list out all the workspaces. You can just simply click run and it will list out all the workspaces where you have access. So this will list out all the workspaces based on your credential. Right? So when you go through the process uh, uh, registering an app, so basically it is going to generate a token. Using that token, uh, you are going to see all of this information in different client tools. So since we have the token generated already using your credentials within this right option, you can take this token and you can use it in any application. Let me show you how you can use this token in the Postman. So let's take a scenario where you have uh, you are a developer and you are uh, mostly using Postman to create any uh, sort of REST API tools or sorry REST API applications. You can have a dedicated application for Power BI. Within that, you can have different requests. If you see my screen, I have a dedicated uh, uh, collection. Under that, uh, I have different set of Power BI REST API requests. So if I choose one of them, here you can see we have to pass that get method and this is the REST API call that I am going to use. Whenever I call this REST API, I need to pass uh, authentication. Right? If, I, if I simply call this, it, you can see this is saying 403 forbidden because we have not passed the credentials. So most of the time or usually we will be going with uh, uh, client ID, client secret, username and password. But since we have the uh, token generated already, we are going to make use of the token here. So you have two options. Either you can directly go to authorization and choose uh, bearer token once you have selected bearer token you have to paste your token let me remove this to paste it you can go to the straight option and you have this token just copy from here because we have selected the bearer token so this token will be uh, available for 30 to 60 minutes so with this token you can easily access all the rest APIs. just copy and go to here and paste the token once you have pasted, you can just click send. So now you have the proper authorization. So it will list out all the workspaces as you see in the uh, browser. This is one of the method. In case if you don't want to use authorization here, you can set no auth and you can go to header. And here you can create a new header called authorization. So if I just type authorization and here you can paste the token. So here we have to specify the bearer token bearer name and followed with the, the token which we got from the try it option and click send so again it is going to list out all the workspaces you can see the status code is 200 
so this is how you can have uh, multiple requests created within the within the postman collection and uh, you can have a variable created and uh, that variable can have this value and you can call that variable in all the other uh, uh, the request so this is with postman let me show you how to handle this uh, in powershell let's say you are a powershell developer and you have created a, a powershell scripts which will be calling multiple power bi ci apis maybe through if loop or for loop so for those scenarios again you have to uh, uh, make use of this client id secret username and password so if you are just a workspace uh, administrator where you have the power bi credential so with that you can do all of this stuff uh, that's the reason i'm keep highlighting this uh, you can make use of this trial option to uh, do the trial and error or test or you can still do the development so here you can see this is the url uh, to list all the workspaces and this is the method this is a function which we have in powershell invoke rest method so using this method we can call any uh, power bi rest apis rest api urls and you can specify the method either uh, get method or post method so for this we have to pass the auth header if you remember uh, we have pasted the authorization under the header so we need a similar one uh, even for the powershell so we are building a auth header something like this so this is one of the variable i just copy paste if you see here uh, for the authorization we are taking the token which we generated in this function so since we are not following this whole function we can just replace this value with whatever we copied from the try it option we are followed with the token so this is the token just close it with the double quotes that's all now we got the auth header created and uh, with that we can easily call this now you can see these are the list of workspaces which we have in the power bi like let's say you want to automate something using this power bi rest apis and you can choose power automate so as you know this is one of the uh, uh, tool within the power platform so with that you can easily build a workflow which can be automated and you might be aware like uh, we have a set of connectors for power bi but in case if you want to build a custom connector to for example to list out all the workspaces or to see the refresh history you can go to data and you can choose custom connectors so these custom connectors uh, uh, can be created uh, using any rest api urls with proper authentication these are the list of custom connectors that i have created using rest apis so if you choose new custom connector you can see create from create from blank and specify the name of the connector let's say i'm saying demo workspace click continue building the custom connector is again easy so here you can you have to specify what is the host so since we are using power bi rest apis you can see power api.powerbi.com and then go to security so this is the place where you have to specify oauth 2.0 always because uh, this will uh, make use of the client id in secret so whenever you call this uh, whenever you use this uh, custom connector anywhere in the flow it will create a token using that client id and the client secret so now we don't have the client id in secret we are going to use this option api key so i can choose api key and here i can enter any name let's say enter token and the parameter name is or uh, nothing but authorization because this parameter name will be placed under header section so we have to specify authorization so you can relate this with uh, postman or uh, uh, even the powershell so in all the places we have to specify this authorization because uh, that's the one will keep all of this token or any any authentication now you can go to definition and uh, here you have to add the action you can click action and i'm going to say get workspace this copy and paste it here and then i'm going to click import from sample so i'm going to use get method let's take the same one so this is the url copy this it here and click import once you have imported you can see that is added now you can see the response now we can click create connector so now we have completed the uh, new custom connector we can easily test it here or you can take this connector into the uh, any of your flow and you can add the key which is nothing but the token and uh, it will list out all the workspace okay now the custom connector is created i can go to 
test option directly and here you need to specify the new connection so we have specified api key as a connection choose a new connection and paste the token so this is the bearer keyword followed with the token so this is the token and click uh, create connection so the connection is created using the uh, token which we got uh, in try it option and just refresh it connection will be added now you can click uh, test operation you can see the status code is 200 and it will list out all the workspaces now the connect custom connector is created and we have also tested it is working fine and you can use this connector anywhere in workflows so this is how you can make use of this try it option and you can use the generated token and this token can be used in any application thank you